All right, Dr. Jen is back. We're not talking about the toilet anymore. But we are <laughs> answering one of your medical questions, and here it is. What can I do to make sure my COVID-19 test is as accurate as possible? And how often should I be testing if I'm symptomatic? All right, Great a questions. lot here, and so I'm just going to try to give you the highlights because obviously we could talk about this for an hour. Mm -hmm. Number one, accuracy. You want to use an FDA-approved test. In general, they shouldn't be four years old. It's okay if they're a little bit expired, but you know, not from the beginning of 2020 or the beginning of the pandemic. You wanna follow the instructions and you want to check it at the time it suggests. Don't assume, because this would be incorrect, that waiting longer is better. So if you walk away after, let's say, 10 minutes or 15 minutes, and you come back four hours later and it looks different, that could be a false positive or it could be a false negative. So you actually do have to follow the um, instructions. And then again, you know, do it as it says. If it says swirl around your nostril 10 times, do that 10 times, that's really, really important. Um, with the caveat that any test, even if done properly, can have a false positive, it can have a false negative. Um, PCR is more accurate than the rapid, so that oftentimes is used as a confirmatory test. And then in terms of symptoms, uh, if you are symptomatic and you do a rapid test and it's negative, it is recommended that you repeat a test in 24 to 48 hours. Um, our stage manager here, Brad, who recently had COVID, tested positive for 15 days. 15 days. He kept on texting me every day. What is going on? So there are outliers of people who continue to test positive. Um, but in general, you can go to the CDC website and find the, the testing, you know, kind of parameters. It still is confusing. Yes. Uh -huh. right. Your prescription for All right. Wellness. has to do with how to manage a fever because a lot of people are sick with fevers due to a variety of reasons. And these are general recommendations uh, because, of course, there are medical exceptions. Stay well hydrated, drinking plenty of fluids. Um, water is best uh, when you're sick. Taking over-the-counter pain relievers will bring the fever down temporarily and therefore also make you feel better because people tend to get body aches when they have a fever. Rest, rest, rest mm -hmm. is always a good idea, whether you have a fever or not, if you're not feeling well. And then dressing in light clothing, if your fever is prolonged, will help your body stay kind of cool. But when you do have an actual fever, medical definition of a temperature is over 100.4 degrees. Because you sense the environment as colder than it is because of your fever, you're gonna be chilled. So in general, you wanna dress in light clothing, but. Yeah, because I, I think a lot of times you want to put on a big sweater, yeah. you know, people feel always pants. will feel chilled when you have a fever. But then, you know, in the I'm talking about the days around this febrile illness, you want to kind of stay light. All right. Stay light. Good friend. advice. Good okay. advice there. Folks, we would love to hear from you. So hit us up on Instagram with all of your medical questions for Dr. Jen at ABC GMA3. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.